We have already learned that we should not use type annotations inside of methods and functions. And this time we look at how to correctly type global fields and static fields. First of all, declare global fields with final or const if the only purpose is to read and access these values. So if you only read these values, then never declare them with the type of this value on the right side and also not with the war keyword. Also don't use any combination of final or const and then the type because this would be too much to read. Instead use it efficiently with just final or const. The same applies if you want to read from a class a static value. So if we have some static fields, then also use final or const and don't use war or the type of the value on the right side. On the other hand, you can declare your variable with the type of the value on the right side or the war keyword in case you are not only reading this variable, in case you are also modifying and writing to this variable. The same also applies to static variables. Here you can use the type of the value of your variable or you can use the war keyword in case you are also modifying and writing to this variable. So all in all, we have now a clear distinction if our global or static variable is only readable and we can access them, then you should use final or const. However, if you also want to modify this value, then you use string or war. With this, the reader of this code knows directly if some variables are only readable or if you also modify them later inside of your code. A typical mistake many developers do is they use const or final and after it the type of this variable. However, this is not needed since based on this value, Dart already knows that this is of type string and based on this value here, it also knows that it is of type user and therefore you don't need to define them here on the left side. So simply get rid of it. And now if I hover here over one variable, you still see Dart knows that this is of type string. And also if I hover over this variable, you still see Dart knows this is of type user. There are also some exceptions where Dart cannot infer the type based on the value on the right side, such as an empty list. Here you see that Dart tries to make this variable a list of dynamic. However, you don't want to have a list of dynamic. You want to have, for example, a list of users. And therefore, this approach of just using final is not enough. The same problem we have with an empty map. Here Dart makes it dynamic and dynamic because it doesn't know the type. And we will look closer in a future video about generics about what to do in these cases. And finally, let's apply the knowledge we have learned. Here we have two variables and both of them use const and then after it's a type. As we have learned, this is wrong. So never use any type after you define const or final because based on this value, Dart already knows what type this variable will be. Next to defining your variable const or final, you could then also use simply the type of the variable or the war keyword in case you are also modifying later inside of your code these both variables. Let's also look at the next example. Here we have two global variables of type color. First of all, you shouldn't use const or final and after it's a type, simply get rid of the type and only use const. And this works because based on the value on the right side, Dart already knows that this is of type color. And secondly, this approach is also wrong. In most cases, a color should be only read and accessed inside of your whole app. And in this case, we define the type or the war keyword, which makes the whole variable modifiable inside of the whole code. And a color is normally only red and therefore use instead const or final. Let's also look at the last example. Here we have a line that is really hard to read. And this happens because we use final or const and after it's a type. And as we have learned, get rid of the type and use only final or const. And with this, you see that this whole line is easier to read than, for example, this line. And based on this value on the right side, Dart already knows that this variable is of type scroll controller. Let's also look at this line. This line is also wrong because in most cases you are only reading from this scroll controller variable and you are not modifying it. And therefore make sure to not use the type in front because then the variable would be modifiable. Instead, we only want to read from this variable and therefore use final or const instead.